Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a street art walk through Bristol. Why Bristol? Because Bristol has amazing street art. Why does it have amazing street art? It has amazing street art because Banksy's from here and if you don't know who Banksy is, he's the world's most famous, iconic, influential, actually named one of the top 100 most influential people of all time, but he's anonymous. No one knows who he is. And he's a street art, he's from here, so this whole town's been influenced by his street art. So the, the standard the, where the bar is set when it comes to street art is really high here and we're gonna do a walk north of the river and see a handful of his pieces. You can also do it south of the river and see some more. We'll spend a couple hours, you could spend probably three to four hours, and it's raining because it's the UK. You go on Google Maps and you put in Banksy, it'll pop up these little pins all over the map and where you can find his artwork. Today, we're only going to talk about the ones that we have verified know they're actually by Banksy, but as you're walking about, you see lots of art, like, oh, that looks like his style, and it might be by him, but we're not gonna tell you it is or it isn't unless we know for sure. We'll also show you other art that's by other street artists that's just, we like or we think it's impressive. <laughs> This piece is called The Well-Hung Lover, or The Naked Man, or The Hanging Naked Man. Lots of different names, but we like Well-Hung Lover. Uh, it's painted on the side of a sexual health building. It was the first piece of legal street art in the UK, but that was retrospective permission, essentially, because Banksy became so popular and um, iconic. It's been defaced twice, as you can tell. The first time was with a paintball gun, blue paint, second time with spray paint. They try to protect it. They do their best to protect all the artwork by Banksy around um, the UK, however, there's always gonna be artists that want to tag on their own spin on something famous, which is not cool, but yeah, that, that's, that's the art. So the Wild Wild West piece is a Banksy piece. It's a teddy bear throwing a Molotov cocktail at some riot police. I don't know what the political message is, but you, you infer the message yourself. That's the whole point of artwork. Uh, two things. First, some of Banksy's artwork is in some rough around the edges parts of Bristol. Don't mind that, middle of the day, you're completely fine. Just walk around and look at the art, it's awesome. Second thing, some pieces, you're looking for like street art, but some of them are framed and protected like this. This is his piece, uh, The Rose Trap, and they have protected it at least somewhat because it's so small, someone could easily take a bucket of paint and just completely erase this history. So it is protected um, and it's starting to rain. And that's a bummer, but it's England. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, a well-known artist painted on this entire wall, then another uh, art crew, gang art crew, came by and painted it over it with this red wave, and then he came back, and instead of defacing their artwork, even though they defaced his, he decided, I'll just add to it with these kind of abstract characters. So it's this very nice melding of artwork, and it's a little more respectful than just defacing. So if you're a proper artist and someone defaces your art, you can come back and improve upon it or whatever. I just like the example of how to treat artwork rather than just throwing paint all over it saying I don't like it. It's raining again. <laughs> you don't need planning permission to build castles in the sky. So Banksy's a big proponent of art, obviously, but what do you mean by that? It's independent art. He said that in today's world, you don't need a fancy portfolio. You don't have to go to art school. You don't need to know famous people. You don't need to sleep with famous people. All you need is an idea and a broadband connection. And in today's world, your art can get out to the whole world and you can become as well known or stay anonymous as you want. I, for one, think it's pretty cool that you can be an artist that starts in a small town doing graffiti and street art, and you can become so big that you're selling your stuff for hundreds of thousands of dollars per piece at auctions, but still, no one knows who you are. You're still anonymous. Hope you liked this video. Um, we're gonna cut it short here. There's a lot more we could see of Banksy stuff, but there's some pretty serious rain bands moving in, some storms. We're actually here for a hot air balloon festival, and which you can clearly see we're not doing. But if you did like the video, then watch more of our videos. Okay, bye.